Wow, what a beautiful day. Hey, it's great to see you guys. Thanks for checking in. We've got a lot to talk about today, and it's all about Corvette. I got a small apology, and we're going to talk about some inventory. Oh my gosh, look at some of this inventory. We got some more that just came in, and it's been a week. It's been a week since I've driven my Corvette. However, though, I did drive Z06 on the track for two days at Ron Fellows. We're going to talk about that, too. My son actually cleaned my car, and he texts me. He says, Dad, man, what's up with your car? I said, dude, I've been busy. He goes, but let me tell you something. He goes, I got those new wheels of yours looking. <laughs> Have you ever said, here's a, I guess it's the kids today. He said, my wheels are, Tico, you can use this at Motorsports LA in your new marketing. Said, my wheels are, it's the word of the day. Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? My new Voss and HF5s that I got from Motorsports LA, are they are they crispy? <laughs> crispy? <laughs> what the hell is that crispy? <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, the V's upright right here. That was custom done. They'll do that for you guys too. Seriously, if you're looking for some wheels for your Corvette, go to motorsportsla.com. Use Conti at checkout, save a couple hundred bucks. You get free matching hardware. And if you want that customized, I think some of you have already done that. If you want that customized to match your car, they'll do that too. Right? I think you're right. They do look um, crispy. It's the word of the day. Yeah, I got to tell you, it does feel great to be back in my car. Before we get started today, going to talk about constraints and detail quantities and things like that. I promised you that we would on today's allocation release date for 2025 Corvette. Let me read this email to you. Uh, and first, let me just thank all of you that... It was a longer video. I get freaked out doing those longer videos, but you guys really do engage. Many of you on last Sunday's video watched it in its entirety, or you came back and you finished it up. It was just a thrill and really an honor for me to share my experience with you at the National Caravan for the Corvette Museum. This is an email I got from Morgan Watson, the marketing manager of the NCM Motorsports Park, and I really do appreciate that, and I'm honored to share that with you now. It says, Rick, on behalf of the entire team at NCM Motorsports Park, I want to extend our sincere appreciation of your participation in the 2024 Corvette Caravan. Your presence and support truly made a significant impact, and we're thrilled to have you join us for this exciting celebration of all things Corvette. The success of the Corvette Caravan is largely due to the commitment and enthusiasm of businesses like yours, who not only share in the excitement, but also help foster a vibrant atmosphere and incredible guest experience. Your participation helped create an amazing midway for all attendees, and we're incredibly grateful for your partnership partnership. Great things ahead. We can't wait for the Rick Conti track day next month at the NCM Motorsports Park. Morgan, thank you for that. Again, thank you for the entire staff that just made us feel welcome. It was wonderful to be there with you guys. All right, so let's try this again real quick. Last week, you guys loved the perspective of me driving and just talking with you. Thank you so much for the great feedback. Let me apologize, though, for those that I offended by well, you called me reading the report of constraints that we're going to talk about in more detail today. I really wasn't reading the report. I was glancing at the report, but you're right. I was wrong, and I do apologize. Uh, not my intention. Should have thought that through a little bit more. Let's face it. I'm not like the idiots today that are out there texting novels while they're driving on the freeway. You see that. I see that every day, and it frustrates me. Uh, it scares me, actually, to be on the road with some of those people. And they're in newer cars, too that don't know how to use their Bluetooth, their Android Auto, their Apple CarPlay. It's like, wow, guys. So again, last week I do apologize and it won't happen again. We are gonna talk in detail, the numbers and so forth, what's on constraint and what the quantities are, what you can get, what you can't get. And we're gonna pull over to do that because it's actually kind of a lengthy report. Also last week we talked about, I tried to put a positive spin on it, that the market's down. You know, you gotta find a positive and move forward. Yes, we've got more availability and things. You guys are right, it is different right now. And that's why you're seeing the flexibility that you are on cars that we couldn't do, let alone two years ago, just a year ago. So it's taken five years to get to this point and it is opportunities for you guys to save. But it's important right now when you're shopping for this car, I had to let some guy pass me, when you're shopping for this car that you're dealing with dealers that are knowledgeable about the car, there's still so many questions when you guys are buying this car. I feel so proud to just be immersed in this marketplace. This is, let's face it, man, this is my freaking life. 29 years and counting, ordering this car since 1995. I'm very particular when I'm ordering cars for stock, and we're gonna show you some new inventory that just came in. But even for you, when you're ordering the car, you're ordering stuff, you don't even know why you're ordering it. I want you guys to order stuff that you want, you need, 
and really truly how you're going to drive the car. More detailed conversations in future videos on that, okay guys? So as we've been telling you for the last couple of months, we didn't know when 2025 production started. It had changed. Uh, the week of 9-9 is what it actually ended up being. 24 production looked like it was getting pushed out. I had cars showing 9-9 build week. In fact, for me anyways, and I think they're all done, but for our store, all of our 24s are now built and they finished on 9-9 and now we're rolling into 2025. What's not happening, let's talk real quick about ZR1 is ZR1. It's supposed to be, they said it's going to be a 2025, and that was to celebrate the retirement of Taj, uh, but there's no information on ordering guys. There's no pricing. There's no nothing. And people have the misconception that I have a car on order. <laughs> Let me be the realist. No, you don't. You have a request. You have a deposit in with a guy. You, you have nothing. You have a piece of paper. We can't order it. We don't even know what the price of the car is. The availability is going to be the issue. And like I've said all along, the ZR1 is not intended to be a volume car. Here's my other concern. Ties in exactly what we're going to talk about today, the constraints. We're having such difficulty getting carbon fiber parts for Z06. And with all the standard carbon fiber on ZR1, how available is that car really going to be? You know what I mean? So you got to put, again, I I got to be a realist. I'm looking at things in perspective of what they are, not what I want them to be, but really what they are. And it sucks right now. So uh, we'll keep you up to date in the progression on that. I told you a year ago that the official launch for ZR1 was supposed to be in that January timeline of 2025. It looks like that'll be the case because right now here in the middle of September, we have no pricing, no ordering information, anything. And I'm talking to guys all over the place. You know, God bless you. Uh, again, there's so many dealers that are making commitments that shouldn't be making commitments on that car specifically. And I am going to talk more about ZR1 in the future. But, you know, hey, I'm number 27. And I know the dealer they're talking to. And I'm like, do I tell the guy that, dude, that dealer's not going to get 27 ZR1s in the next 27 years? <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean that's, that's the reality of what we're dealing with. But he'll find out soon enough, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean, do you want to walk around with, hey, I'm number such and such? Or do you want to drive the car? Again, more conversations in just a bit. Man, it's been a beautiful day. Wonderful to see you guys. Thanks for joining me on the channel. Some detailed stuff. As um, soon as I pull over here and I can read the report, I'll give you a little spoiler. Hysteria, the new purple color for 2025, is off constraint. Now you need to know if you actually have an allocation and what your build is. Does it have any other constraints, pieces, parts that will either allow or not allow your car to move forward with that new color? It's also weird too, we've had Sebring Orange before on Corvette and it's still on constraint, startup constraint. They've not issued a Sebring Orange for 2025 yet. It's like, guys, we, we did this color before, what's the holdup? Kind of weird, I don't know. I do miss Amplify, that's a beautiful, beautiful car. Real exotic looking, especially on a Z06, you know what I mean? It would've looked great on a ZR1, man, oh yeah. Real quick, too, while I'm waiting to pull over and read the report, then I want to jump back at the dealership and show you a unique opportunity, a couple of different opportunities, and some new cars that just came in, some cars that I have, and some cars that I feel in my heart that you guys are going to want to buy. So thank you for those considerations. Thank you also, too, to, uh, to Jerry, Bob, and Mark in Connecticut. Man, I'm ticked off. I... I told you I was coming. I want to come. I, I, I wish I could come to... The Vets at the Beach show in New London, Connecticut. We were there last year. I had a great time. What a beautiful, what a beautiful beach, beautiful area. Hundreds and hundreds of Corvettes and the weather. Oh my gosh, the weather's gonna be perfect this Sunday for that show. But guys, I don't have another set of hands here to take care of stuff in the store. And I've got a bunch of cars that just came in, four customers, a bunch of cars that are here that need attended to, needed promoted and marketed and need sold. I mean, so I, you know, I'm the old Dunkin' Donuts guy. Got to make the donuts. So I, I've got to make, a good friend of mine told me this a long time ago. You make the most important thing, the most important thing. And getting to these shows nationally to see you guys, I learn a lot from you. It's good exposure. They're great conversations. You learn stuff from me too. And like, oh, okay, now I understand how out-of-state purchasing works. I was afraid to call you. Enjoy watching the videos, but I was afraid to call you. Three out of four cars I sell go out of state. We're excited we can take care of our local customers. That's great. But the volume comes in the national stuff from a lot of you guys that are watching. So 
thank you for those opportunities and that flexibility. I'll walk you through all the steps. It's easier, actually, than you realize. I, I've got to find... <laughs> this is not the route. That's gonna have, what happened to the country roads? There's construction, there's bulldozers, there's, dump, there's a dump truck in front of me. Please don't throw a bunch of rocks on my car, for heaven's sakes. Hang on a second, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around you, brother. 10 miles an hour is not working for me, man. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, just. You can only take so much. Well, that's really, I really don't know where I'm at. That's pretty over there. I'm not gonna. Well, again trying to find somewhere to park real quick and talk with you guys in detail. Let me just tell you, I just came back from Ron Fellows. I had a unique opportunity to experience the Z06 Owner School at Ron Fellows Spring Mountain Motorsports. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Oh my God. Wow, guys. I'm so thankful of that opportunity and I'm really excited to share that experience with you guys. I filmed a lot different angles. I didn't have a chance to really have conversation. At very busy schedule, but I learned a lot. I had a great experience and yeah, I want to go back. <laughs> I just want to go back. And it's exactly why I tell you guys you need to take that course as a new owner of Corvette. Now, Z06 is tough. You need to get on the list with Darcy because they only have like 30 cars. So those classes book out months and months in advance. Once you get your VIN, Call Darcy, get booked up, but please take that course. You need to do that for a number of reasons, which we'll talk about when I get a chance to air that vlog from Ron Fellows. And I was there with my, my friend, my customers, Michael from Florida, Josh and Amanda from Ohio. My other new customer, cool guy, Mike from Ohio, got sick at the last minute, and he needs, you will, needs to take that course. He's got a Z06 and wants to do a little bit of spirited driving. That's going to help you, and it's not... Let me just tell you this, it's not all about tracking, guys. That's the perception. Well, I don't go to Ron Fellows, that's all about tracking. I'm not gonna track my car, I don't need to do that. They do need to do that. But experience the track stuff, because you'll probably never do it, that's cool, but do it in their cars. But you do take away a lot of stuff that you can use in everyday driving. So, um, let me give you a, because I can't hold it in. I'm such an idiot. Let me give you a spoiler. The competition was for the autocross, and I freaking won it! <laughs> Damn it. And I had no idea I was going to win it. I wanted, let me tell you, I wanted to win it. All right. You guys know I'm competitive. And we did the first day of autocross. It'll be three sessions and they tell you the times. My first one, I did okay. It was a 31.5 seconds, but I went through the break box and it was a five second penalty. So what the hell? That didn't count. Then I was like 33, 34 seconds. Second day, they don't tell you the times and they just tell you the matrix if you did better or worse than your previous run first run on the second day where we're competing. They said, well, that was, was a good run. I'm like, okay. Second run, oh, I'm sorry, it's a little slower in your first run. I'm like, damn. Last one, they go, well, that was your worst one of the day. And I'm like, what? What? Ah, oh, damn. And it's like, I'm thinking in my head, well, I didn't win. I wanted to win, but that's okay. I was with some really good drivers. My customer, Michael, did really well. Uh, Bobby uh, watches the channel. He did really well. I thought for sure that one of those two guys were going to win. So the first two groups, they were all in the 31s, one in the 30, and that's about where we were on the first day. Then they get into the blue group, and third place was 29-something. People are like, oh, um, <clears throat> let me see that, 29. And then between third place and first place was less than a half a second disparity. Second place, I forget who it was off the top of my head here real quick. First place they announce, me. I'm like, are you shitting me, man? I'm like, what? I couldn't believe it. I was I was pretty pumped. That was that was a great win for me. It was a lot of fun. And it's thanks to the folks at Ron Fellows that coach you and help you and encourage you through those courses, man. Again, I get I could talk about them for an hour. <laughs> so you've got to do that course out there, all right? I've got, okay, I apologize. I've got to find a place to pull over, to share all these constraints with you guys, show you some stuff back at the dealership, and I got work to do. Thank you for watching and listening. It really means a lot to me just to have this opportunity to converse with you guys. I've got so much inside passion and enthusiasm and knowledge to talk about when it comes to Corvette. It's great to share it with you. So thanks again for watching. All right, we're in uh, another small town, I think. Yeah, we're gonna pull over here. Another church. I always seem to find churches. 
God bless you. To pull over and have my conversations with you guys in the car, so. Okay, order constraints. It's important to know that if you have a Corvette order going into the system, these are the constraints that affect your order right now. If your order's already been pulled, these constraints have nothing to do with your order. And you can't go backwards. If something all of a sudden's available, you can't go, oh, oh hey, that's available. Can, can we put that in my car now? My order's pulled, but can... no. It goes with real-time order placement. That's how the advanced distribution works on these cars. Let's talk about Stingray, E-Ray, and Z06. First up, let's go E-Ray. No longer is hysteria on constraint. However, if you have pieces, parts, they could affect you. So if you're not doing a high wing and you have the visible carbon fiber ground effects or the carbon flash ground effects, they're uh, limited to 20 quantity for just the carbon flash painted and the visible carbon fiber are limited to 18 in the nation. Competition Yellow, finally available on E-Ray, limited to 59 in the country. Habanero Interior is now available with the microfiber 27 for the nation and actually we got one of those constraints if anybody's looking uh, as I was talking earlier before we actually read the report Sebring Orange is still startup constraint and still zero they've not released any of those and the Habanero leather interior that also is available at 27 quantity for the country I did not get any of those so in essence if you had an e-ray with us and you wanted Habanero uh, you only could get it with the microfiber accents on the inside if you want the full leather you're gonna have to wait till next cycle let's look at Corvette Stingray constraint 1LTs are still on constraint right now at 157 quantity for the nation. I did not get any of those. Sebring Orange is startup constraint at zero for the nation. All right, so let's continue. Stingray constraints if your order's being pulled in this cycle. Habanero interior. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a bright, vibrant orange. Microfiber or all leather, they're both limited to 157 quantity in the country, and I did get one of each for Stingray in the event we have a customer that's looking for that. Even if I don't have a customer for that I'll take the constraint and I'm gonna order something for stock uh, if I have enough quantity overall for Stingray look at the Q9i gloss black forged wheel 353 for the nation I did get one of those and competition yellow startup constraint it doesn't mean that it's not available it is available controlled quantities at 353 for the nation and I did get one of those too if you're looking for Stingray in competition yellow all right let's talk about Z06 of course, Z06 is on my mind. And of course, my coming back from Ron Fellows, people are like, oh, Rick, your head's gonna be all screwed up. It is. I want Z06 so bad, but I've got some intel of what's coming in a couple of years, and I think that car financially will work better for me. And I think overall what that car is is gonna be better for me for a little bit of spirited driving that I wanna do in my daily driving, but I don't know, hell. Yeah, if I could get a Z06 right now, I would, I would probably take it. Okay, uh, you, enough about me. About you, if you're getting an order in this cycle, here are the constraints that may affect your order for Z06. High wing, invisible carbon fiber or carbon flash painted, both limited to 240 quantity. Uh, we did get some high wings. There's going to be a separate constraint just for the ground effects. You get the side skirts already, and it actually becomes an upcharge if you do the visible carbon fiber and the front splitter. So that's essentially what they're talking about when you do the ground effects. Ceramic brakes are on constraint for Z06, limited to 364 for the nation. Sebring Orange, as we mentioned across the board, all models, startup constraint at zero. Okay, ground effects in the carbon flash painted without the high wing are limited to 144 in the nation. I did not get any of those. Habanero interior, limited to 192 in the nation. I did not get any of those. Black spider wheel, I said last week it was going to be on constraint, controlled quantities. I don't know why. Uh, that's a beautiful wheel. I've got the replica on my Stingray. Not right now, as you saw at the beginning of today's show. But the spider wheel is limited to 336 in the nation. Uh, I did get a couple of those. If we've got anybody looking for that, and their Z06 order is up in this particular cycle. The visible carbon fiber high wing, that's a separate entity, as I mentioned, that's also limited to 200. 140. Now, I did get one high wing in visible carbon fiber. So the guy can say, well, I want the high wing, Rick, but I want the carbon flash finish. Can you just switch that? No, 
It is specifically distributed in this manner. So the carbon flash, yes, there's 240 in the nation. I didn't get any. And then the visible carbon fiber high wing, I got one. So you have to make those, those quantities work for you in that case. Ground effects is another issue. Uh, here is the carbon flash painted ground effects. I did get one of those, and those are limited to 144. So just like the visible carbon fiber, if you wanted the front splitter and all that, I didn't get any of those 144, but I did get one of the carbon flash painted. Confusing? Yes, I'll help you through it. Just let me know what you want. I'll tell you yes or no if you can get the darn thing. Two more things now for Z06 Constraint. Competition yellow, startup constraint, 432. The numbers are increasing. So 432 are available for this cycle, and we actually did get one. And I'd I'll tell you what, I'd love the competition yellow on Z. I'd I just like that color on any of the Stingray. That's a, if you like a yellow car, that's a yellow car. I love it on the 2025. That's pretty hot. We did get one. Habanero interior in the microfiber is limited to 192 in the nation. We did not get any of those. So it ties into the leather and the microfiber accents are both at 192 quantity for those particular interiors. And those are the constraints. We have lots of questions to answer and hopefully business that we can make. Thank you for those opportunities. Contact me. Information is up on the screen. Let's head back to the store here real quick. I'm going to show you what I have. Oops, I'm gonna show you what, did I drop some? I'm gonna show you what I have in inventory right now, some opportunities for you guys to buy something now. Kind of what we talked about last week. Yes, the market is weird, okay? It's normalizing, saturated. There's a number of things you can say. But having opportunity, for me, it's nice to say, I've got opportunities for you guys, and you don't have to order a car and wait six months to a year and a half to get the darn thing. So, And we have some great selections. I'm very proud of the way that we've ordered the cars from you guys. Uh, I, I look at all the past numbers that we used to do. The, I'm still going to do it. The year-over-year -year comparison of what you know our customers ordered versus what the national orders are, and we have predominantly people requesting 3LT, especially when you go to convertible and we have stuff in our cars that other dealers they just won't order like magnetic ride control or unique combinations like this this tension blue interior i've got it at a riptide blue convertible got the only one in the country right now only one it's a non-z51 magnetic ride it's beautiful it's gorgeous we're going to be flexible we're going to be fair but at the end of the day it's the right car for you and yes that car is a 3lt i put front lift on it because i know when i have customers that are ordering 3lt especially in convertible 99.9% .9 of the time you want front lift whether you use it or not. That's the only option, as you know, if you've been following the channel, that I don't have on my car. But I've been around this car and I know how to kind of maneuver and not have to use it. But this part of the country, I don't really see it to be a viable option. All right, talk to you guys when we get back to the store. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, we're back at the store. We have Corvette inventory. This thing is beautiful. I showed you guys this before just recently. Seawolf Gray 3LT convertible non-Z51. It does have mag ride front lift. Look at these beautiful combinations right now. We've got a couple of deals that are pending on a few cars. I do have, I ordered purposely hypersonic gray in extra volume because I knew that it's a canceled color and it always seems to happen when, as soon as you say, hey, I can't get that, everybody wants it. So uh, I do have a few hypersonic gray coupe and convertible left for sale. Beautiful black coupe over there. 3LT red convertible there. Uh, that's a coupe, that's a, a convertible. Here's a nice coupe there. A couple of, I got actually one. They were, I just read the constraint report. I can't order it if you wanted to, but I've got a 1LT car here right now. Here's the car I was telling you about. Only one like it in the country. Riptide blue with the tension blue interior and the accent of the body color vent option. This thing is pure class. Hardtop convertible. Got the forged, if you can see it through my shadow, forged, uh, forged wheels there. Even with a little bit of a cast of a shadow on it, that thing looks fantastic. I got some more cars over here. Chuck's trying to get through them as quickly as he can. He's been, uh, we didn't have a Tech Tuesday, partly because I was tired coming back from Ron Fellows, but he's still kind of sick, so <laughs> yeah, keeping my distance there. But he's here working, doing what he can. There's Ricky with this, <laughs> that's the word of the day. It's the word of the day. Crispy wheels. <laughs> what the hell is that, crispy? Okay, we'll go with that. A couple of my customers been waiting for a long time to get a Z06 Cole right here in Ohio. Sea Wolf Gray, nice choice there. I got a couple real pretty combos I ordered. Kind of did three or four like this for inventory for you guys on this one. 
I don't think this car is it. I mean, you can never go wrong, my goodness, with a red-on-red -red convertible. Yes, you got to do the red calipers, but this car here, you can't see it through the cover, but I know because I ordered it. It's a two-tone sky cool gray with riptide blue, and I did the stinger stripe. It's little accents like that will just make that car just bam, get your attention, and you go, yeah, that's going home with me right now. Let me know if you're interested. And this is the car. Is this? Yep, this is it. This is the car that... Kind of my son spec. Originally, he wanted to do ceramic gray. Uh, through the constraints, we couldn't do it. And then he wanted to do two-tone red interior on this, but I couldn't do it because it's a stock order, not a sold order. So we had to alter it a little bit. But 95, if not 98% of this car was inspired by my son. If you buy this car, I'm gonna donate, like I said before, $500 to St. Jude. It is funny, Ryan went through exactly what you guys go through when you're trying to order a car. He was a victim of the constraints. He wanted this to be a Z51 car. It could not be, but it's a 3LT, beautiful wheels, black interior, red stitch, red seat belts. It has carbon fiber dash, and it has, if you can see there a little bit now, there you go, carbon fiber roof. Beautiful car with a low spoiler, black exhaust tips. That's something special right there, yeah. So way to go, Ryan. Nice job. That was a lot of fun to share that with you guys. Uh, I've got some more uh, Riptide Blue Black Wheel Convertible. Uh, this is, yeah, a 3LT. So when you do Sky Cool Gray 3LT, it just livens up that interior. The headliner, the A-pillar behind the B-pillar area, all Sky Cool Gray, really non-contact areas. And it's beautiful and it's really dynamic. This car is going to be gorgeous. You guys will love this car. Got another, you got, oh, wait. Oh, I happen to have the keys in my pocket to this one. This is not just a Red Miss Coupe. This is a Red Miss freaking Z06. And it's for sale. Yes, it is a coupe with the black gloss spider wheels, edge red calipers. Man, I wish we had the cover off of this. But, oh, yeah, man. Damn straight. This car's ordered right. Level 2 carbon fiber stealth package. Red stitching. Red seat belt. Red intake for your Z06. Oh. <laughs> and after I just got done driving this bad boy on the track for two days, that's something special, guys. If you're interested in that car, there's no premiums, rated MSRP, happy to help you guys with that. We take trades out of state. You just gotta get it here some way, somehow, I'll help you with that too. Uh, let me know, that's a beautiful car. That is gonna be the last Z06 we have available for sale. And then everything right now is sold coming in with orders waiting, so thank you guys for those opportunities. This goes to my past customer, just a cool guy, Dennis here in Ohio. White convertible Z06. Red dipped interior. Way to go. What do we got here? Okay, I did this one for inventory as well. Red mist, sky cool gray interior, new forged wheels. This too will have the stinger stripe and it will be, it will be cool. I know I just, I know in my heart you guys are going to like it. There is a thought process before I check any box on these cars that eventually become your cars. Thanks for watching today. If I can help you out with an order, one of the cars I showed you, one of the cars I have in stock right now, information's up on the screen. Email me, text me. I'll get back as fast as I can. We're juggling a lot right now. One of the reasons I can't go to that show in Connecticut, and I'm very regretful for that, but thank you for the hospitality, guys. Um, had to cancel a couple shows this year. We've just been getting busy. Uh, we'll find a way to change that matrix next year because, like I said earlier today in the drive, I just love being at these shows. You guys learn, I learn from you, and it's just, it's great conversation, man. We're talking cars all day long. Yeah, I dig that. And this is this is my job. <laughs> this is great. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up this video, make comments down below. Look forward to seeing you guys soon, which will be Sunday something Corvette content on our Coffee with Conte show.